Fordham hosting Cutstown in their lone exhibition match of the fall in the Rose Hill Gym on Sunday. Abigail Corning got the scoring started off early in the first half. First possession for Fordham. She makes it 2 nothing in favor of the Rams. Cutstown would make a little bit of a run, take a lead, but Sam Clark evens it at 22 on that nice look from Corning. Corning had 9 assists and 11 points on the day. Later on in the half, Hannah Misery hits her first three of the day from Danielle Burns. She would go on to make quite a few of those. Next play, Danielle Burns is going to get the rebound off a missed free throw by Clark, and who else but Misery nails that one from deep. That's her second of the day. Before the close of the half, Misery once again, that's her third. Rams go in with a 15-point lead at the half. First possession of the second half, Sam Clark's going to get the rebound. Wings it out to Brianna Jordan. She brings it down and finds who else but Hannah Misery. Misery finishes the day with 25 points, 7 of 11 from downtown. Another great performance came from freshman Danielle Burns, the Gainesville, Virginia native, had 13 points, 6 boards, and 6 assists on the day. She's going to get this one on a putback on an Abigail Corning miss. A little bit later on, she's going to get the feed from Wachuku and nail that one from 3. Rams will go on to win this game 86-49. Sam Clark with a double-double. 24 points, 13 boards, one of four Fordham scores in double figures. I spoke with Coach Gately after the game. Here with Fordham head coach Stephanie Gately after a team's exhibition win, 86-49 over Cootstown. Coach, first time the girls have been out there against live competition all year. What would you see? Ups and downs, as, as to be expected with the freshmen. I mean, especially when you have, you know, um, your returning leading scorer, you know, not playing, and, and, and potential starter in Emily Tapio, you, I wasn't really sure, to be honest, what we were going to see. But overall, I, I saw some great things to build on and some things we need to work on. A lot of names jumped out, two of them in particular. Sam Clark, she came out here with a double-double. What did you see out of Sam, your sophomore? I think, again, I think Sam has really taken a step up as a player. I think she takes a lot of pride in her game. I, mean, I think she did some terrific things out there. I think that she understands that, you know, that she wants the ball more. And I think when you're a freshman, you're a little bit tentative, but you know, she did a great job. You know, then it helps having a little bit of an outside attack with Hannah being able to open up things as well. Talking about Hannah, she was lights out to end. She's one for five to start from three. She hit six in a row to close, says seven of 11 from downtown. I know that's something you knew she could do coming in. Did you know she could hit at that rate? Yeah, I mean, for Hannah, I mean, we've had a lot of just individual, you know, talks about that, that when you're open, then want you to take the open shot, you know? And even, it's funny, because the conversation we had the other day, you might start off a game 0 for 5, you got to take the next shot like your first shot, and, and always believe that every shot you take is going in. Daniel Burns comes in, she's got 13 points, 6 boards, and 6 assists. Is it her athleticism that allows her to do that? I think Danielle, I mean, again, a lot of it is just settling down. As, as typical as most freshmen, there's been a lot of roller coaster practices where some of them are up, some of them are down. But I think Danielle's a very passionate player. She plays extremely hard. But what I was really impressed with her today is staying composed. All right. Thanks, Coach. Good one. Thank you.